Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, this is a quick look at the build we had today for Dev Channel on Windows 11. Remember that Dev Channel is not something that's testing features coming out soon. It's really for the future of Windows 11. A lot of the features that will eventually appear might be only mid-year next year or even at the next uh, big update uh, later next year. So build 22494 was released today and it contains just a few little things. First, if you do use Microsoft Teams, one of the things that they were actually talking about is that in the taskbar, you would have a mute possibility um, and that was not there yet. So if you are using Teams, now you have a mute and unmute button on the uh, taskbar. So this is something that uh, you could do now directly from the taskbar instead of searching for where's the mute button or whatever and the app. Um, one of the things they're also trying to do is uh, if you use alt tab to view the different uh, options uh, with task view, uh, one of the things that happens in task view is the fact that you can actually um, see, of course, the different task views or the different desktops and including some of the apps if you do things like uh, use the uh, options for snap groups. So if you snap together many apps and have snap groups enabled, they're trying a new layout that um, is going to um, show you a different way of seeing all the snap groups and the task view. It's not for everybody yet. Some people still don't have this option yet. One of the options also they added is now you can actually go and you can go into your settings. And when you go to the default apps in the settings, uh, you can search for what is the default for a certain extension. This can be sometimes useful, knowing what extension goes with what app. So for example, if I type .mp3, you see here, it actually immediately would tell me, oh, Groove Music is associated with that right now. If I do uh, TXT, and it's going to tell me, oh, Notepad is associated with that right now. So depending on what you are going to check out as um, a extension, it's going to tell you what app is associated with that. And of course, you can change that if you want. So that's uh, one of the things that is uh, to know about. So searching for what app, uh, you know, that search box wasn't there where you had set default applications, you had all of that, but you didn't have any search capability of, you know, what extension goes with which app, which is, I think, kind of nice. They fixed a bunch of things in the file explorer and the taskbar and the search input the windowing. Some of the settings had problems. So uh, there's a lot of bug fixes also in this build. Uh, install on my computer went very fast. This thing took, I don't know, maybe uh, overall download, install, restart, maybe less than 45 minutes. Even, I would say maybe even less than half an hour, but it was pretty quick and it works great. Uh, I haven't had any problems, any errors uh, right now, no freezes or no problems. Uh, these builds have been quite stable. I've used them a lot. I mean, this computer runs pretty much all day and I haven't had major problems yet. The only problems you might find with these builds is that they reset some of your settings and some of your defaults for some apps. For example, my recording app, if I have to re-choose a microphone, things like that. Uh, Skype, Skype bro breaks every time there's a new version. So I have to reinstall Skype if I want to use it every time there's a new build. So there are a few things like that, but overall, uh, works pretty well. Uh, like I said, this is, you know, the most dangerous, um, channel, the dev channel. So I don't recommend, you know, most people go there. Uh, but if you know what you're doing and you like to uh, see the newest stuff, you can check it out there. Although some of the newest stuff and the cool stuff has been a beta channel, which is kind of weird. So this was a quick look at build 22494 for windows 11. Uh, released today, um, Wednesday, November the 3rd, 2021. 
Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.